In this video, I'm going to teach you how to remove OneDrive from Windows 10 without deleting any of your files. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. First of all, I want to make a quick disclaimer and say that as you can see, I am recording this video on my Windows 11 computer. However, the process I'm going to show you in this video is going to work regardless of your Windows version. First of all, to disable OneDrive, what you have to do is over here at the bottom right corner of the screen, open up your notification tray. As you can see, I don't have a OneDrive icon because I've went ahead and already disabled mine, but you should be able to notice the OneDrive icon over here as I'm showing you on screen. All you have to do is right click that icon to access the help in settings and then click settings again. When you click settings again, after right clicking the OneDrive icon on your notification tray, you will be able to select unlink this PC on the properties of OneDrive. Immediately after clicking unlinking this PC and confirming or verifying that you want to unlink OneDrive, it will go away from your computer and it's going to stop synchronizing your files. Like I said, if you go back to the OneDrive website at www.onedrive.live.com, all of your files will be located here. If you want to double check, you can access this website before even starting this process. You will be able to see all of your files listed here. If you ever want to set up OneDrive again for whatever reason, all you have to do is open up any folder, any file explorer, and then click OneDrive over here at the left to sign in and get access again to your files. I hope I was able to help you on how to remove OneDrive from Windows 10 without deleting your files. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.